Attunity Compose is a next-generation solution that automates the tasks of preparing data for analytics. Compose automation drives the process of storing validated and consistent data from many sources in a physical repository, such as a data warehouse with data marts, so it can be trusted by its users. Marie is the data analytics manager at a company. Attunity Compose makes Marie's life much easier than at her last job, where she was running a traditional ETL-based data warehouse. Marie no longer spends days or weeks doing impact analysis, recoding ETL packages, running extensive regression testing, and endlessly updating documentation just to add a new data source or update existing reports. Attunity Compose automates the mundane tasks of managing the database tables and writing the ETL code, so Marie can spend more time working with the business users to ensure the requirements are clearly defined, implemented correctly, and rapidly deliver the data the business users require. Our sales manager, Dale, just visited Marie's office. Dale needs some analytics on a new line of automated kiosks that will sell the company's products in attractive locations. Marie accesses Attunity Compose using a web-based user interface that is secure and supports collaborative development. In this project, she will prototype the data and deliver some preliminary analytics on kiosk sales to Dale. Based on his analysis, Marie expects Dale will refine and make changes to those requirements. Marie wants to be certain the requirements are met fully before she moves them into production. An Attunity Compose project has four parts. Each part defines an important step in preparing data for analytics, defining the source data and data warehouse, managing the data model, creating and loading the data warehouse, and building the marts to analyze the data. To incorporate the kiosk sales data, Marie has added a new source database to the Northwind project. Marie has also linked this source with an Attunity Replicate task. Attunity Replicate provides data replication and change data capture from a wide range of data sources. Attunity Replicate solves one of the hardest parts of adding a new source, getting the data to the landing zone and processing changes. The Attunity Compose model can be built in several ways. It can reverse engineer models from source databases, import an existing data model, or build a model within the application. Of course, once imported, a model from any origin can be managed inside Attunity Compose. Marie will add to her existing model by discovering the tables she needs from the kiosk source and enhancing them. When Marie clicks OK, Attunity Compose reads the metadata directly from the source application, the attribute names, data types, primary and foreign keys, and so on. Now the kiosk sales and kiosk location entities are in the model. Attunity Compose automatically inferred a relationship between them from a foreign key relationship in the source. But an important point of the kiosk sales channel is they sell the same products that the company sells through its regular channels. Marie needs to model a new relationship between the kiosk sales entity and the products entity. She can do that by simply dragging from products to kiosk sales. Marie can define some properties of the relationship, such as whether the relationship should replace the existing product attribute, and if the relationship should store history. Marie can check the kiosk sales entity by double-clicking it. Here we see the discovered attributes in detail, including names, data types, keys, and initial assumptions about how history should be managed for those attributes. Marie notices that while the kiosk application captures the quantity sold of each product, it doesn't capture the unit price that Dale wants to see. Unit price is stored in the product table and needs to be looked up when the data is loaded. A revenue calculation Dale needs is also not stored, but Marie will add that calculation later. Using Attunity Compose automation and with a few mouse clicks, Marie extended her existing solution model by discovering the kiosk model from a new source and adding attributes and relationships for Dale's new analytical requirements. 
Marie needs to deploy the updated model into the analytics repository and define the ETL processes needed to load the data from the landing zone. First, Marie deploys the updated model to the Compose repository. Attunity Compose will detect the changes and calculate the impact of those changes. As we can see, Compose reports some differences between the updated model and what is currently deployed in Compose. Attunity Compose tells us what has changed, but rather than focusing on an impact analysis of those changes, changes other solutions will require you to input manually, Attunity Compose can make the changes automatically as well as generate a script to document those changes. Marie lets Compose update the data warehouse automatically. With the changes made automatically, Marie needs to load the data from the kiosk sales application into the warehouse. Marie uses an Attunity Replicate task to move the files from the kiosk machines into the landing zone. With Attunity Compose, Marie no longer needs to spend days or weeks writing ETL routines that do mundane and repetitive tasks like managing surrogate keys, tracking history, performing lookups, as well as validating cleansing and loading the data. The power of a model-driven Attunity Compose solution is that Marie simply maps the landed data to the data model and lets Attunity Compose automatically build the ETL. If necessary, Marie can configure a few lookup rules that will be built along with the ETL. ETL sets for the kiosk sales data full load and change data capture have been added automatically. While other mappings Marie uses elsewhere are visible, only the kiosk locations and kiosk sales mappings are selected as part of this ETL set. Marie knows she may need to make a few updates to the kiosk sales mappings, so she clicks on the link. The data was mapped based on the column names, but Marie recognizes that she needs to switch the source of the mapping from the kiosk sales table in the operational system to the table containing the transactions table landed by Attunity Replicate. She switches the source and graphically clicks Auto Map to remap the data, but Marie could also perform the mapping by drag and drop, as she does to map the quantity column. The kiosk data does not provide the unit prices of the products, but Marie can get that data by performing a lookup on the products table. She switches to the location of the landed product data and selects the product table. Next, Marie creates an expression to join the kiosk data to this product data. And then Marie specifies the column that will be returned by the lookup. Finally, Marie can check the results to make sure the data returned is what she expected. With the mapping complete, Marie can filter the mapping to limit the data set returned, profile the data to better understand the data set, or write data quality rules. Marie decides this mapping needs a data quality rule to ensure that the kiosk application is not sending any transactions with zero or negative quantity values. Marie describes what defines a true or valid quantity, which is a quantity greater than zero. Marie determines how to manage a false condition and selects Reject and Report. This option will send invalid transactions to an error mark. And that's it. Marie is ready to generate the mappings. In addition to validation rules, Marie could add data cleansing rules to fix any minor imperfections in the data, such as names and addresses. The ETL commands can be reviewed at any time, sorted by process step, or exported to a CSV file for further examination. They are also written to tables in the database so they can be run in an ELT paradigm in order to leverage the power of the database. Marie loads the data and can check it from the Attunity Compose GUI or directly in the database tables. With the data loaded, Marie is ready to build a data mart for kiosk sales. She should have it ready for Dale in a few minutes. Marie is now ready to build a kiosk sales data mart for Dale, the business unit manager.
Marie can create a new data mart directly from Attunity Compose. Because Attunity Compose stores the history of the data, Marie can select the type of data mart she wishes to build. A transactional data mart shows the current state of the data. An aggregated data mart pre-aggregates large data sets to a certain level of granularity, speeding up the reports of highly summarized data. And a state-oriented data mart that contains the type 2 history changes of the data enables reports to answer questions about what happened when from this historical context. Building a data mart in Attunity Compose is as simple as selecting the metadata. First Marie chooses her facts. Then the dimensions associated with this fact are automatically selected. A graphical rendering of the model is displayed on the right. Marie needs to add a revenue calculation in her data mart. This is an easy task in Attunity Compose as compared to ETL tools. With Compose, Marie is able to include that calculation as part of the metadata where it is more maintainable and visible in the data lineage rather than burying it in the ETL packages where it would become one more thing to change in an impact analysis assessment. Calculated fields can be added directly to the data mart. Marie defines the calculation of revenue in an easy-to-use development environment where calculations can be parsed and tested before building the MART to ensure the calculations will be correct when the MART is deployed. With the calculation complete, Marie is ready to deploy the data MART. First, she will use Attunity Compose to deploy the fact and dimension tables for the data mart. Next, Marie will use Attunity Compose's automation to generate the ETL code needed to flatten the data and load it into the fact and dimension tables she just deployed. Finally, Marie will automatically load the data mart by clicking the Run button. Marie can check the results in a pivot table before emailing Dale to let him know his kiosk sales data mart is ready. First she selects the facts. Then she selects the desired attributes from the locations dimension. Then Marie selects the appropriate product info. The data in the MART looks good to Marie. Once Dale has had a chance to review the data using his business intelligence tools, he may have some changes or additional data requests. If so, Marie can add them quickly as before using Attunity Compose. If the MART is in its final form, Marie can promote the data MART to the development master instance and then to the test server before finally releasing the new data MART into production. Attunity Compose's automation features will help her rapidly complete all of these tasks as well as schedule the ETL jobs to keep the kiosk sales data mart fresh. What you've just seen is the complete end-to-end -end process of adding a new business requirement to a data warehouse. Compose automates the tasks of restructuring the data warehouse, integrating new data, and deploying the new data mart to meet the business requirement. With Attunity Compose automating those development tasks, Marie satisfied the new business requirement in less than 15 minutes. Can your data warehouse do that?